year of One Step Up. If you are really serious to build your business, you may want to stand in front of the number one highest converting traffic in the world, which is Google AdWords. A common fear among online marketers as well as affiliate marketers these days is the big fear of Google slap. If you're not familiar with this, it refers to Google significantly banning advertisers on AdWords outright or the suspension of account. This could be a big concern, especially for affiliates promoting ClickBank product or any products from any affiliate networks like ClickPromise, Peerfly, or CJ. In this video, we will talk about three things. First is how to avoid your Google AdWords account to get suspended. Second, why it happens. And third, how to fix it in case your account got suspended already. Now, how many of you have set up AdWords account with Google that has been suspended? The reason I ask this is because many online marketers and affiliate marketers running a campaign about how to make money online or any business opportunities and when they try to advertise with AdWords, their account gets suspended. If you do something that is against the policy of Google, they will suspend your AdWords account. But here's the thing, you don't need to feel bad about it. Because if you really want to build your business online that will generate income for you for long term, we should be grateful to have this kind of platform that gives us a good quality traffic that converts. Of course, if you know how to set up your campaign correctly, you will appreciate this because Google is trying to provide us a good high quality traffic for our business. Okay, let me just show you one of my recent campaign in Google AdWords. So you can see here, let me just make this bigger. So June 7, which is today, Tuesday, right? So I've got three clicks from 26 impression. When you are running ad in Google AdWords, it doesn't necessary to have a lot of impressions. Of course, if you have a lot of impressions and if you have a lot of clicks, you will run out and blow out your budget quickly. So you do not want that to happen. So what you want is to get in front of those targeted, laser targeted traffic that will convert. So you can see here, as of today, I have 26 impressions and I've got three clicks. And my CTR is 11.54 and my average cost per click is $1.47. So this is my total cost for today, and my average position is 1.4. So zero conversion, but here I've got three conversions, okay? Which is my cost per conversions is $1.03. So all converted here, which is 100% conversion rate, and my average position is 1.7. So I've got 43 impressions and three clicks so all these three clicks converted on june 6 which is yesterday monday you see that and here let's see so i've got three conversions one conversion one conversion here two conversions here all right so i'm just running this campaign just recently so just to show you that google traffic is high quality traffic Advertising in Google, this is more expensive, so you will pay a higher cost per click. So like this one, the average cost per click is $1.47, there is $1.03, there is $0.24, so it depends, it's playing. This is more expensive than buying solo ads. So for me, based on my experience, I don't recommend for you to buy solo ads because those are not laser-targeted traffic. You don't know what are those traffic are seeing before they landed to your website. But here in Google Ads, if you advertised, this traffic, you are targeting at the point of intent. So these people, they already have their intention. They are looking for something. That's why they go to Google and they type something. Okay, think of this. Just put yourself on your user's shoes. If you sit down in front of your computer and you are looking for something, you will just type in Google search engine the keyword or keyword phrase. And if you provide your users what they are looking for, when they click your ad 
and you provide them a good user's flow, a good user's experience in your website, there will be a high chance that you will get these users to convert. So remember, in Google, you are paying per click. So you will see here, my conversion rate, 100%. So all those people, all those users who click my ad, converted 100%. And here, 50%. Another here, 50%, and here, 100%. And just to let you know, the campaign that I am running here is from ClickBank product. So it's not my personal product. It's an affiliate product, which is other people's product that I am running. All right? So does this make sense? There are two types of account suspension. First, if you fail to pay your bills, definitely Google will suspend your account. Second, your account will be suspended if you violate some policies on your page. Now, if you are serious to build your own branding, Google is the number one search engine and being the number one, they must maintain the high quality of search results and not by giving a lousy contents to its users. Definitely, we will all benefit from this. Let me share with you this illustration. So this simple illustration will help you to avoid getting suspended from Google AdWords. So if you are promoting other people's product here, either this is a digital product from ClickBank or any other product from other affiliate network, make sure that you should not, okay? You shouldn't drive traffic directly to this product. Google doesn't allow you to direct traffic to other website or any sales funnel that is not yours. So what you will do is make sure to drive traffic to your own website domain. And from this website, you must provide a good valuable content to your users regarding this product. So whether this product is about lose weight, how to solve diabetes problem, or anything, even hotel reservation, if you are promoting any product from Peerfly, then don't direct traffic directly to other people's website. So create your own website and have a clear call to action directing your users, your traffic to this product. Then when you do that, you can peacefully advertise with Google AdWords. If your AdWords account got suspended, you can just go to Google Help and just check their list of policies. And you will see here the AdWords policy. Prohibited content, prohibited practices, restricted content, editorial, and technical. So it's all here. So you can just check every single policy here. And once you correct it, you can just go to support.google.com slash AdWords slash contact slash approvals. You can just fill out this form. They will ask you about your name, contact email, your AdWords customer ID, the ad group name that was disapproved, your campaign name, and the summary of the issue. And you need to just click any of these three. Either they will contact you by phone or email, call you, or just email you. And once you finish filling this out, you can just click this Submit. That's all for now. Jankua here, your one step up. Music